Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm showing you the completed wasp helmet. In one of our previous videos, um, I showed you that we was uh, using a dirt bike helmet, which I purchased from a thrift store. Um, and what I did, I just sandpapered it down. And what I used to spray it with was this Rust-Oleum um, gold metallic paint. It's really great, even bonds to plastic. And I only had to give it about maybe one to two coats. Um, when I did uh, spray paint it, I just held it back from an angle and then just did short bursts each time I spray it. Just don't go too close and spray it because it will bleed and you'll kind of get little uh, drops everywhere. So just go real light and um, hold it at an angle. Make sure you do wear gloves and wear a mask as well. And what I did in my previous video, um, I did talk about my plastic visor plate that I was using. Um, I did like how, how that looked, um, but I ended up just changing it to use some foam, um, the EVA floor foam mats that I like to use. But I still managed to use the same pattern. And how I got this um, gold visor look here, I just got some um, plastic folders that you can get from most stationers. And what I did, um, I just cut it to shape, a little bit bigger and hot glued it um, on the inside of the visor so you don't see any of the, the glue markings. And to get my antennas, um, what I did, I just found like an old top. Um, I think this was from like a bug spray or from a kid's toy, but you can, anything that's kind of circular and looks nice, you can use. Um, and I actually painted this with the same spray paint because it bonds to plastic. So that way I didn't have to worry about matching up the same color. And how I got my antennas, um, I just used an old paintbrush. I go through a lot of paintbrushes when I do projects. So this was an old one. And what I did, I just kind of cut it off here. And how I made a hole in this top here, um, I just got a, a nail with some pliers. Heated up the nail, wait till it got real hot. And then I could just push it in the plastic and make a nice hole. Because um, I was going to drill, but you're always worried that you know, with something so light it could crack. So then what I did, I just pushed this inside and then just put some E6000 glue um, or super glue on the inside and then on the outside. And then um, to get the, the top, there was kind of a little bit of a hollow space inside. So I just kind of filled it out with some foam until it met the, uh, the edge of the, the cap. And then I E6000 glue uh, this um, kind of antennae to the helmet. But make sure you let it dry for at least um, 24 hours. And see now it's real strong. I can move this around. And how I got this effect, guys, um, on the helmet. This was um, an existing pan that was already on the helmet. So what I did, um, I kind of used some blue masking tape. And I taped it around, but then to get the curve, I just got a small extractor knife and then I cut it. So that way I could keep um, this pattern here on the back. And to get the, uh, this kind of looking, look, it looks kind of like a 3D kind of pattern here. I actually used some 3D metallic um, fabric paint. Um, it does take a little while to dry, so please be patient. Um, make sure you you know leave it overnight and I just wanted to add some patterns here to the back and uh, just for decoration I just kind of added two wasps um, just kind of like it is a wasp helmet and that's what it looks like guys and also um, on this part here to get the visor plate to go up and down let me pick this up and show you um, I made a hole in the side of the dirt bike helmet and how I made this hole, um, I used some tape, um, actually this tape here, I made an X and then with a tiny small drill piece I started drilling and then just built up to the biggest um, drill piece that I wanted. Do it very slow so that way the helmet doesn't crack. And then what I did, I got some elastic, um, just kind of like regular elastic that you can get at a fabric store. And I put, weaved this through and then stitched it. And then I made a hole in the visor plate with an extractor knife and I put that through and stitched it and then also glued it and left that to dry overnight. And now when I have the helmet like this, see, it will go up and then it will also go down. 
So that's the completed wasp helmet guys, um, please stay tuned. We have completed the costume and um, you can check our previous playlist for that. And um, we're still working on the wings and in uh, another episode we're going to be showing you how the whole costume looks together. Uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you real soon.